Hi guys, so I just want to say sorry if you can hear chewing my dog's eating. He'll be gone in the next bit. Um, so I'm doing my foundation collection and setting powders and concealers. Kind of all in one, but I've only got a couple of setting powders and concealers. Um, I'm going to show you which one goes best with which and well, that's what I think anyway. So let's get started. You want to get started with the foundation? Do you Do you? Oh. Did you just fall? Ew. You're not doing much shade darker for me, which is perfect for when I'm either self tanning or just tan in general. Um, because when you tan in general, you don't need much coverage because the tan is covering up your fine, um, your acne anyway. So I do like this one. Um, this one I'm completely run out of, and it's a collection 2000. It's okay. I'm in natural beige for a minute right now, I can't even show you. It's okay, it's got SPF 20 and it's oil free. I think if you were in a hotter country than England, this will be perfect for you because I don't know, you, you'll probably, if you're tanner than me as well, it'll be perfect for you because you won't need much coverage. Um, I think it's a sheer to medium coverage. Um, my friend Lozzie here on YouTube and outside of YouTube, um, she even likes it and she has, we both get oily around our T-zone and dry around our nose area and like cheek area and it just doesn't show it. It doesn't show that you get dry and oily in different places. Best setting powder. And I'm in 100 Ivory. This is one shade too light for me. But I put a foundation, um, I normally put a sample foundation underneath it and that's one shade too dark and then I put this over the top and it's perfect. I know that sounds quite a lot but here in England it's not very sunny often so it's perfect for us. So I love this as well and I, I love it. Again I would say it's one shade too light for me but with the foundation that I use it all adds up to be absolutely perfect for my skin tone. So I love this. It, I spent about 16, maybe 20 pound, 16 to 20 pound on a concealer that was half the size of this and it didn't even cover it up. This is like four to five pound and it covers it up and it's massive. So you need to go and get this. I've heard it's like MAC, I've heard it's like everything. You need to go and get this concealer if you're worried about your acne. Lossie says she has dark circles on her eyes, but she doesn't. Please listen to me, you don't have dark circles on your eyes. You are perfect, seriously. Um, but she says it covers them up, so again, two different skin tones say that it's perfect. The Seven Deadly Sins of um, Beauty, and this is one of them that was in there, and it was what do you have a love-hate relationship with, and um, it's this, because some days it goes on like a dream, oh my god. Like today I can already tell by doing that it's going to go on so sleek, so perfect, yep it's going to go on perfectly. The other days when I use my own DIY primer it goes on all patchy, it clings to every single dry pack and it's horrible. So I have an on and off relationship with this. I also do the um, best and worst in drugstore so they, they will be linked down below and someone commented down below thank you for that because I love to hear your um, reviews that she loved this so again it depends on different um, skin types I think you get Fair Minerals original to cover up BB cream because it just goes on so creamy and it still has the same kind of feel as BB cream I think if you put like a um, Rimmel Stay Matte or a natural collection I think it would just take away the point in the BB cream looking light and you know like just I think these two go perfect together the reason why I got two of them by the way is because they were on buy one get one half price and they have that like once a year so I just have to get them. I um, normally get one of these anyway so getting one for half price just I couldn't miss it. Uh, it's so creamy and I just... This for me is better than found, um, BB cream. It's this one right here. It's just so creamy and luscious. I always use this and this with it so you can put a thicker foundation um powder but you can also put bare minerals because i tried it on holiday and you look at it and 
I am going to be doing extra videos today because I have Lizzie sleeping well. So we're going to just be making a lot of tags and fun things like that that we can't normally do actually together because I know we're doing a lot of tags on different channels but we can't really do it on the same channel. So it's perfect time to do a lot of different tags. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really sorry for my throat. Um, comment down below some of your favourite foundations because I really want to try some different foundations because I don't know I just think it's fun and yeah so comment down below your favourite foundation also subscribe if you want to see more and like this video if you like collections and things like that and if you didn't like it like this video alright guys see you guys later